Oh. Hello. <laughs> we did a little shopping the next day. Welcome everyone to today's vlog. Or this long weekend's vlog. It's Friday, finally, and then what? Around 5.30 p.m. My laptop is, well, it's technically restarting for software updates, but I'm out for now. Might have to go back to finish up an email after dinner, but for now, we're heading towards Hog Island. And I'm pretty sure I posted about this restaurant for like twice in like some of the vlogs already. So you can see how much we like this place. But yeah, today we're gonna go with a couple of friends. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, the bus is here, time to go. <laughs> we got a triple and then we split it among three bowls so we can game the system. <laughs> that we first go to Cinderella Bakery, which we're like a block away. It's a Russian bakery that we found online, so hopefully it's good. And then, and then we're gonna go to Golden Gate Park, and then we're gonna check out the Academy of Sciences, and then the Japanese Tea Garden, and then, and then we're gonna hang out and we'll see what dinner is. Maybe that'll be a surprise. By the way, it's 9.30 a.m., is it? 9.30 to 10 a.m. And look at how gloomy this weather is. But Albert's happy. This is his favorite overcast weather. waiting for the bus to enter Golden Gate Park and then we just finished eating from the Cinderella Bakery as you can see we got four items and it was all pretty good we we're very greedy so obviously we had to take a bite before we finished them everything we got was all pretty good would recommend if you're in the area and if you're about to go to Golden Gate Park we also packed the two leftover dessert pastries for a stack later on so we both don't get hangry over the day. Academy of Sciences. It was actually a lot of fun in this Academy of Sciences Museum because there are a lot of interactive activities you can do here and there. Historical facts, you can check out a lot of animals, they also have like a lot of insects you can see. There are also some shows here and there that you can reserve a time the day of and then you go check it out. Although I have to say it was pretty dark and it was after lunch where we watched this one. So I did accidentally fall asleep, but you know, it was good rest too. There are also 
also a bunch of food trucks outside of the museum so if you are looking for a snack around the area feel free to go to the food trucks later on we did walk to the japanese tea garden it's actually free for sf residents so definitely use that to your advantage there is a lot of things to look around especially this bridge you see right now and i was so happy that we actually got to wait in line and climb it it seems very childish but it's still always fun to do these things so it was very easy to climb we just made it to the top you know took some pictures took a video and then because there are other people climbing it down we just went back down Then we took the bus to get to this jiaozi, this dumpling place that we saw in Yao. But while we waited for our order to finish, we were getting some mochi donuts nearby. We couldn't resist. So we got some chicken and mushroom dumplings here and some pork and apple cabbage. We also Got some soybean curd tofu stick thing. It's fuzu in Chinese, but the English is kind of weird. And then we also got some beef noodle soup. Hey guys, today is Sunday. Today we're gonna head to the Exploratorium first. So we're already around downtown SF. So we're just walking there. We got off the bus. And now we're just walking. And then after the Exploratorium, we're gonna go on this SF Bay cruise one hour trip. We're not entirely sure where it's gonna lead us, but I think we're excited for it. Yeah, so come along with us. We're excited, right? Are you excited? Yeah. He's excited. And it's finally sunny today. So I'm super happy with that. Thank you. Yeah, still going. Essentially, at the Exploratorium, there are just tons and tons of interactive activities you do. So you learn about different objects, physics, like chemistry, all the different illusions that you can see over here. It was actually a pretty fun time. Although we were a bit self-conscious of the fact that everyone else there had their kids with them versus us just like you know two adults having some fun there it was still a great time and i do not regret it We're out of the Exploratorium now. I'm gonna take the bus to the Bay Area Cruise or the Bay Cruise Place at Pier 39.
So this cruise took us way out to Golden Gate Bridge and then we circled back, went around Alcatraz and then came back. So it was really nice. Needless to say, it was super windy, but it was really cool getting under Golden Gate Bridge. Like I would never have thought that I would be able to see the bottom of the Golden Gate Bridge. So every time we pass by different neighborhoods or landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge or Alcatraz, the ship also had speakers that tell the stories of each of these places, so that was pretty cool. Hey everyone, I'm sniffling from the wind from the cruise and from right now. Now I'm gonna get some fish and chips. Well, maybe not the chips. Maybe just some fish right before dinner. And shameless plug, I recently just started a TikTok detailing my food adventures in SF and beyond. So feel free to check that out as well for any food recs I have. Hey everyone, we just finished dinner and then we just showered, got home. Um, I'm gonna do some work right now. Hopefully it's really quick and then we'll probably just end the night watching like a movie or something. And then tomorrow we're gonna try making chicken pot pie, the one we made during Thanksgiving. If you saw it during your Thanksgiving vlog, shout out to you guys. But yeah, that would be tomorrow's plan. And then Alper would leave um, the next morning. Yeah, so that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow. JK, we also got a late night snack here. Now it's time to make the chicken pot pie. It's actually pretty straightforward. We use the recipe from all recipes and we combine it with a tasty video on YouTube. And yeah, you basically just chop everything up. We got a rotisserie chicken from a grocery store and then we just, I just shredded it with using my hands with gloves on. We made chicken stock in the instant pot with that uh, chicken bones left over from the rotisserie chicken and you just cook everything together and you know you just follow the recipe Thank you all for watching so far and see you in the next one.